going to film my September favourites. I had a really good month in September, it was like the best month, especially because I'm at Salon and I'm at was just like the best fun I've ever had and I literally, it was just the best day ever. Yeah, let's just get on to my September favourites because I don't want to ramble on too much. Um, my number one thing is something that I've wanted for ages and something that I'm now obsessed with but now that I've got it. It is the Mineralize MAC Skin Finish. It is the first MAC thing I've ever actually gotten and it looks like this. I think most people have it. It's in Soft and Gentle. Literally the prettiest thing of life. Like I don't know if you can see that I have it on today. It just makes you glow and especially in spring it, and like in summer it just looks so pretty and so natural and yeah, I just love it and I'm so glad I finally got it and actually spent my money on it. The next thing I'm loving is my Rimmel blush that I wear pretty much every day and it's in it's in pink rose. It just looks like this. This gives like a subtle soft like glow and a little bit of pink on the cheeks and yeah, I just really love this blush. My next favourite in September was the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I use it when I fake tan, which I, I have it on right now. And as much as I love my Revlon 24 Color Stay Foundation, it actually brings out my eczema, so I can't really use that one anymore, but lucky I love the Fit Me Concealer, uh, the Fit Me Foundation. It's really, like, dewy and kind of a medium coverage, but yeah, it's always good for summer, like, you don't want a full coverage when you're, like, out in the sun and it'll be, like, sweating off and stuff. I then got to the Fit Me Concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to match that. I have no idea what it's in. Oh, sand stable. And I love this concealer. I finally found a concealer that I love. So, yes. My next favourite is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. And it, like, is great at lengthening your lashes and volum voluminize vol vol volumizing. <laughs> anyway, my camera just died. But, yes, I love this, this mascara. You can just... You can build it up and build it up and it still doesn't look like clumpy, like I don't know. I have it on today, I don't know if it looks clumpy or not, but I literally sit there for like 20 minutes and just like apply mascara because I love mascara. So yes, everybody should get their hands on this. It is my new favourite mascara. The next thing is something I've also wanted for ages but could never get my hands on it and it is the colour tattoo in Barely Branded. Every single person has talked about this pretty much, so I'm not really going to talk about it too much, but it's like a nice champagne-y, light, shimmery colour. I have it on my eyes right now. That's all I have on my eyes right now because I couldn't be bothered to wear my makeup today. I love that and I wear it every day now. The next thing is something everybody also raves about and loves and it's the Maybelline Must Precise Liquid Liner. I've had this for ages and it is still my favourite and it will always be my favourite because I can just put it on so like I just put it on so easily and every I wear it every day pretty much and I don't always do wings I just like do it to thicken up my lash line type thing and I just love this product so much it's like the best invention ever. My next two favorite products are lip products and one is the Revlon just bitten kissable balm stain in lovesick passiony which is looks like this a little swatcheroo of it. I love this product it's it actually does stain so well and stays on all night like I don't know I just wear this every single day pretty much if I'm like not going to uni or whatever I love this product and my next favorite is something I also got at eye mats which is this lime crime lipstick in Countessa fluorescent which is like this amazing pink color is this one here I love this product I haven't actually got to wear it yet because I haven't really been anywhere to wear it but I don't know I love this I love this lipstick and I can't wait to wear it because it's just like the prettiest colour ever. It's like typical Britney pink colour. My next favourite is actually a brush which is my e.l.f. stippling brush which I used to hate when I first bought it but I just recently found it again and I'm like use it for blush and I love it. It like, I don't know, it's so much nicer than the blush brush I used before because because it's so like sparse or whatever my like the blush looks more natural than it did before, I guess. I don't really know, but I don't know. I just love this brush. My next favourites are nail products, which are these three colours. If any of you guys know me personally, I love my like light pastel colours for spring and summer. And even for winter, I will still wear these colours. 
and yeah, these are just my favourite colours right now. These two ones are Rimmel and the purple one is called How Do You Lie Like It and the apricot one is called Apricot Punch and the green one is called Sweet Pea and it looks like this and it's by Astralis and I just really love those colours. My next favourite product is actually a hair product and it is the Swat... Swatch Cough? Swat Cough? Um, Leave-In Conditioner Spray thing in a bottle. Ever since I ombre my hair, it... Like, because you're bleaching your hair, it, like, really wrecks it and causes split ends and stuff. And this has three times extra keratin in it, which is what your hair, is, like, cells are made of. And I just spray this in every, like, few days after I wash it when it's wet. And it just makes my hair, like, the ends of my hair so soft. And, yes, my housemate gave this to me, so... Love her. <laughs> my last two favourites of the month are perfumes. One is Britney Spears Believe, I think this one's called. And Halle Berry... I think they just call it original, which looks like this. I have no words for these two perfumes. They are my absolute favourite perfumes in the world. Halle Berry is my number one. Duh. I can't even explain it. Like, it just smells like summer. Like, it's all, like, flowery and, like, citrusy. And I don't even know, because I don't know how to describe perfumes very well, but... Oh, I wish you could smell through the camera because it's the best smell in the world. I can't get over this smell. And I love Britney Spears perfumes. I have every single one of her perfumes. And this one is just... This one's amazing too. It just reminds me of summer and it's just like... It's an amazing smell. I really can't describe it. I'm sorry. I'm very bad at describing scents. So just go smell them out of shop and then you'll buy them because you realise how freaking amazing they are. As for TV favourites, my favourite show right now is The Fosters, which Gemma got me on to. I watched the whole season in like two days and I got absolutely obsessed, but now it's over. So now I'm back onto Dance Mums, which I'm also crazy obsessed with. And music favourite would be Classic by MKTO, because it is just like the happiest song in the world. Like I play it and I'm just like dancing, like I'm always happy when I listen to that song. And, um... And that is all my favourites for this month, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have a fun video coming up for you guys in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that one. And yeah, I'll see you in that video. Bye guys!